Am I the asshole for kicking my husband's mom out after she threw out the dinner I cooked? Dot dot. Last night, my husband's mom came over at 7 p.m. I just got done making dinner by the time she arrived to the house. I welcomed and greeted her then went upstairs to take a shower. My husband had to finish some work in his office then sit with her in the living room. Twenty minutes later, I got out of the shower and rushed into the kitchen. I was so confused to see my pot not on the stove and another pot put in its place. My husband's mom was sitting in the living room. I approached her to ask her about it and she said that the pot that I left cooking on the stove got burnt and so she thought that I must have had forgotten to turn off the stove resulting in the food getting burned so she threw it out and made us dinner. I was shocked I went and digged through the trash and as I'd expected the food was not burned. I fact it was still not cooked and the meat was still raw. So apparently she threw it out for no reason? I lost my ever loving crap on her because the isn't the first time, not the second time but the third time she done this. Now y'all be telling me this is a coincidence but I don't think so. I yelled at her saying she should have never touched my dinner that I spent time and effort making and then lie about why she threw it out just because she hates my cooking. My husband got involved and told me to take it easy, because his mom, meant well, I said no she didn't think told her to leave my house right there and then. She argued then took her purse and left. My husband blew up saying he couldn't believe I kicked his mom out for literally cooking us dinner. I said that there was already dinner cooking but she threw it out and it wasn't even burner. He called me unhinged then went upstairs then had the whole dinner his mom cooked for himself. I ended up eating yogurt and dates for dinner which was awful because I was starving. My husband is upset because of me kicking her out and says that I punished her over a misunderstanding. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. You have a husband problem first, and a mother-in-law problem second. Deal with the husband and present a unified front, or this will escalate. Not the asshole. That was no coincidence. That was a power play from a mill determined to undermine you. Time for your husband to wake up, in no world should he be taking her side in this and if he believes that she meant well, he's missing a few cards from his deck. That wasn't a misunderstanding and if someone was unhinged it definitely wasn't you. Not the asshole. Your husband is the biggest asshole in this scenario. Called you unhinged? He can go follow his mommy out the door. Not the asshole, but the core of the issue is your husband. This was the third time she had done that, it's a power move. His mother behaves this way because he allows it. You have a husband problem not a mill problem. Am I the asshole for being upset at my fiancé for what he said during a game at his friend's house? Ta account. My, 28F, fiancé Flynn's, 27M. Dad died when his mom was pregnant and she raised him by herself. She remarried when he was 19. So last night one of Flynn's work friends invited us over for dinner and afterwards we were just chatting and playing games. There were these flashcards that asked questions like, what's your most embarrassing moment, or what movie represents your life, etc., and we were taking turns answering them. When it got to Flynn's turn the question was, what's a real-life love story you know to rival any real ones? I thought he'd say us, but he went on about his parents and all these hardships they had to face, and how his mom didn't remarry until recently. When we went home, I told him that his answer to that question should have been us. He said that his mom and dad's story is one that he loves, but I told him that he's never even met his dad and he's putting some hypothetical story over our current one. He got pissed and said it was just a game, but I said that now I know where he really stands about us. Flynn said I was a brat and disrespectful, but I think he's the one being disrespectful. Was I the awe? You are the asshole of course your love story can't rival theirs I mean. Even Twilight is a better love story than a woman jealous of her fiancé's dead father and his grieving mother. You are the asshole. This is one connection he has to his father and you acted like a spoiled brat. Let him have his stories. Perhaps your behavior is one of the reasons he didn't say it was your own, love, story. I can only imagine your behavior during other periods if this is how you react to some sentimental story your partner shares. Grow up. Am I the asshole for making a Planned Parenthood patient escort feel uncomfortable? I, 31 per meter, volunteer for Planned Parenthood. We are outside the front of the building for the times when abortion appointments are scheduled to be a distraction from protesters as people come from the parking lot. I've been doing it for about a year. Patients during those times come in for other services too, and we aren't told why someone is coming in so I'm just a friendly door greeter to everyone. There are two slots for each shift. For months I've been the only one during the shifts I sign up for, 
but for the most recent three shifts there's been a new, to me, guy, early thirties, doing it with me. Luckily we both like to do the same thing when we aren't greeting people, which is put headphones in to pass the time and not really talk to each other. I'm an introvert so this is a win. We're given a short lesson about how to act, and it's mostly don't be too aggressively nice off the bat. This isn't a fun day and patients might not want a stranger walking up to them, trying to make excessive conversation, etc. So just read the room. New guy is always aggressively nice off the bat. Fine in regular social situations but in this setting it's a bit much. I can tell some of the people, especially women, coming in aren't into it. I honestly got kind of a creepy vibe from it at first, but I thought maybe from being on Reddit and the internet my weirdo, neckbeard, incel radar was just too sensitive. When he's there I'm just a silent, smiling door opener. Last shift someone I knew came to the clinic. She, 28, is a platonic friend I made at a gym I used to go to, haven't seen her for two years. For context she's objectively a very attractive woman. New guy goes up and starts talking to her and I go to open the door. She seems in good spirits, not like she's there for anything heavy, but I wasn't going to strike up conversation just in case. Walking past me she does a triple take, excitedly says hi and gives me a hug. We talk for a few seconds but she says she's late for a BC checkup. She came out 20 minutes later, we talked for a couple minutes and she says she'll message me so we can get a beer and catch up. After she gets in her car, new guy says verbatim, damn dude, she's fucking hot, were you two together? I was taken aback, and I said the first thing that came to mind which was, it's kinda weird you'd say that to me, to be honest. He smiled and nodded and didn't say anything else, neither did I. The shift only had 5 minutes left so we didn't have to spend too much awkward silence together. Like I said we haven't become bros, we barely talk to each other. I could, maybe, see this being more okay at a bar, with a friend. In this setting, with a stranger, I thought it was really off-putting. I got a message from the volunteer coordinator. I had made this guy uncomfortable. I'm not fired or anything, it was just a notification and a suggestion to be friendlier. Am I the asshole for delivering that spicy take immediately after what he said, did? Not the asshole and I think you need to immediately tell not only your supervisor what happened, but the equivalent of HR there. He shouldn't be rating the patient's hotness, especially not out loud. Edit. A word. Not the asshole. I'd respond to the coordinator by explaining that it was a very inappropriate comment to be made at a workplace, and if anyone was uncomfortable it was clearly you. All you did was call him out on that. Not the asshole it sounds like he lodged a complaint to get ahead of anything you might have reported. Kinda makes you wonder why exactly he's there and what sort of stuff he gets up to with vulnerable patients. Not the asshole and it sounds like he reported you so you wouldn't be believed if you reported him. He was way over the line with his comment and frankly someone needs to let the volunteer coordinator know about his inappropriate behavior. So he's being inappropriate and you're making him uncomfortable? Sorry can't quite get this. Am I the asshole for refusing to intervene against my son's supposed ableism? Just a while ago, the mother of my son's, S, 15 male, former friend, A, called me up saying that my son broke up his entire friend group because he was too ableist to accept A's cousin being in it. It seemed serious so I asked S what it was about here's what he said. Some of his friends and he had a very intense study group of nine members. They would each prepare notes, reading material, summaries, guides, mock tests and share it among the whole group. His friend A wanted to introduce his cousin C, who is dyslexic and has ASD, to the group. He said he can't contribute anything but would really benefit from the support and help. These kids had a rule that anyone could veto new members. So S vetoed it because he found it unfair that C would get to have the benefits of the group without putting in any work. A got mad, and wanted to have a vote to expel S from the group, which succeeded, 5 out of 9 members supported it. In protest, the other three left the group and decided to start their own with S2 kids from A's side have since apologized to S and joined the new group. I found the whole thing immature and childish, because they are children, but nothing about it is ableist because the group had a purpose and C couldn't fulfill that purpose. The rest of it is teenage drama that I'm not overbearing enough to interfere with. So I called up A's mom and told her it's not my business and it ideally shouldn't be hers either and she's saying I'm letting S get away with being ableist and willing to burn down bridges just to remain ableist, and that I should be ashamed of his behavior. I do think S should have maybe been open to helping C. 
I just think it's really petty whatever happened after that and not something I should interfere with. Not the asshole there is of course nothing wrong with a volunteering his own time to help his cousin, but he can't voluntell the study group to volunteer their time and effort to support and help his cousin. This is apart from any issues the cousin has. I'll go with not the asshole. Regardless of what C could contribute, A made him out as a resource leech while everyone else worked hard. A was the connection to C, and therefore the one responsible for introducing him. Your son reacted accordingly. If C was truly capable of participating, maybe A's mom should have a talk with her son about telling people how incapable C is because of their disability.